So welcome back aliens, this is Navin Reddy from Telesco Learnings and in this video we'll, we'll try to understand how to use WebView in Android. <clears throat> so why exactly we, we need WebView? So you can, can, you can see we have a, a web page here which is, uh, which is my web page which is telesco.com and if I just open all this stuff, so it is now, it is now opened in a uh, web browser what we want to do is we want to open this web, web page or website inside uh, you know uh, in, uh, in in app itself so let's say you want to build your own app in which in which you have lots of activities and one of the activity you need is a uh, uh, activity in which will be you can open a website right you can open a web uh, google.com you can open my website you can open youtube you can any you can open any website right so what we need for that uh, so to, to achieve that we need to we need to use something called as web view so which is web view is a tool inside your uh, android studio so you can see we have a web view here we just have to drag web view here because it's a it's a place where you can actually you know uh, open a web page uh, so first thing we require is we have to set the width of app width as match parent and we have to set the height as match parent so we got two things here with which match parent uh, so we, we, you can see how uh, a web view here and I want to show a web I mean to, I want to show a view here right I want to show a, a web page right for that we just need to link this a job file so this is your job file here right we just I have to create object of web view as we have to do for the text uh, text field and all the stuff so we'll say we'll name this as my uh, our brow which is our browser and we have to also provide the object space right so we have to say web browser equal to or my our browser equal to we'll say this this will be giving us a web view and we'll say find view by id which is r dot what uh, id dot web view that's the id name right and the last thing we require here is we have to just load a web page right so we have to say web browser equal to not equal to dot load url and in this you have to mention in double quotes uh, telesco.com right that's it that's the only thing you require here right and if you run this code uh, it will take some time to load in the emulator I, I, as again i'm using uh, you know it's, it's still loading uh, so i'm i'm using android 2.1 which has the install and option install run uh, it don't it doesn't take much time compared to the earlier versions and you can see it is trying to open a web page here uh, is it successful? Mm, I don't think so. It is taking lots of time. It should not take much time, as it. It's not working. Uh, what should be the issue here? The first problem is uh, whenever you open a web page, you have to make sure that you are using www. In fact, with HTTP, so you have to say HTTP colon double slash. That's the thing you require here. And if I run this again, and one more thing before that, you just have to give the permission uh, for the internet in the manifest, which I have already done for my project. Okay, and you can see the domain is not available uh, because I made a mistake here. Okay, and since we are doing install, so you, you can see it is not taking much time. And we got our web page here. So you can see that we got a web page which is uh, telesco.com in the in the in the app itself. This is not external browser. This is an app. Okay. Let me just prove my point. Let me just minimize this. Okay. And okay, just get minimized. Uh, this is like you know when you buy a, a I know a very bad phone with a low configuration. Uh, that's weird. So this is the app here, which is project for YouTube. If I click on this app. And this is the app which is actually opening a web page, right? And if I open this, oh, it's not working. The thing is, uh, I have used so the, my actual website is a bit different, right? We, you can see the whole page, but in mobile view, uh, we get some this type of slider here, which is if you click on this, it will give you certain options. But the problem is, this certain options they work with JavaScript, and by default, web view doesn't support JavaScript. I mean, it will it will not allow you to work with JavaScript here. So what we need to do is, before opening our page, we just have to set the JavaScript. That means we, we, we want to allow JavaScript here. So for that, we'll say get settings, <coughs> excuse me. And then here we can say set JavaScript enable. And we have to say yes, we want to enable JavaScript here. And if you run this code now, hopefully we'll be getting a JavaScript option there. 
okay let me just uh, expand this now so you can see now it's working because we have just said I want to work with JavaScript and it works with JavaScript here okay now what next let me open another page here so if I click on videos page in which you can actually learn something right let's say you want to learn C uh, if you can just go to my video page you can click on C tutorials for beginners and here you can actually see all the videos in sequence because if you go to YouTube uh, you cannot find everything in sequence right I can have a playlist there but maybe people are finding it difficult to watch my video there so you can actually open my website and you can watch everything in in sequence you can actually watch Android videos in sequence right uh, that's much better right <clears throat> So what next now? Uh, so, since you can see this web page is not opened in an app, it is opened in a web browser. So you can see here we are getting the address. So this is not opened in an application, it is opened in a web browser. What we want to do is, uh, we want to say everything should be open inside a web page. For that, we just need to create one more class. Okay. For that actually what we need is, with this object we have to set one more setting, we have to say my, uh, our browser dot uh, there's a there's a method called a set web view client and in, in this you have to pass an object of web view client right for that we need to create the object we need to create a class which will override we'll say we'll say create a class we'll say this, this class name as uh, my browser and we need to extend it with web view client okay so we just have to pass the, this object here so you have to say new my browser it's that simple right but hold on, uh, will it work now? Uh, the answer is no, because we have to we have to tell that we need to use our application to to view all the pages, right? And for that, we just need to overload override one method here. We'll say generate. Uh, I need to override a method here, which is this one should override URL loading. We have to say yes. We just need to overload that. We just have to return true because we don't have a choice there because it returns a boolean, right? But we can do one thing we can just say view dot load all the url in this web view itself okay don't go into another external web browser just use the internal web view client right and if you can just run this now everything is good to go let's let's see is it reflecting here uh, it will take some time to load as we have discussed Okay, uh, since we are using a new class, it will reload everything because we just compile it. And if you can just click on the video page now, and here we go. It is not opened in a new uh, browser, it is opening in the same web view. Okay, that's that's the awesome thing about uh, overloading that overloading that method, right? So this is how you have to use web view in your application. It's quite simple, right? You just have to create the object of web view. Uh, we need to specify that we want a JavaScript here, we want to load the URL. But the only thing is, if you provide the navigation, everything should be happen inside the web, web view client. And for that, we have to say this. Okay. So that's it. Uh, that's how you do uh, this stuff. So that's it from this video. If you like this video, make sure you uh, click on the thumbs up button there and do subscribe for further videos. And thanks for watching.